Hello everyone and welcome back to Pets Dogs 2 where we are here with Piper and uh, it is about time after we catch this bug that is incredibly annoying. Why can't I grab this? There we go. Uh, but it is about time to destroy some whirlwinds. Oh, we got another rare item reward. That's a kimono color five. Okay. Very snappy. All right. Let's uh, head back down here to Lonesome Park, though, because as we all know, the best way to solve problems is by throwing rocks at them. And we have a bunch of whirlwinds down here that need removing. So there should be... Oh, there's one there. Gotta be kind of careful. There's a lion, too. Get out of here, tornadoes. Oh, we got one. Oh, that one's gone now. All right. There's probably another rock over here, too. Yeah, there's a few. Okay, let's let's get rid of these whirlwinds once and for all. There's another one. The lion, I mean, we could still throw a rock at the lion, to be fair, but I don't think we need to. I think we can avoid him. Let's snake this chicken while we're here, though. What do you have? A white feather. We'll have to see what all these things do because as we're headed into the final confrontation, hopefully today, we want to make sure, you know, if we're going to be in a big final boss fight, we got to be looking our best. It would not would not do to fight Evelet and be... Oh, we missed. And uh, be... <laughs> I, I, I don't know. We, we, we got we to gotta have style. Whoop. Just in the nick of time. That almost ran us over. Is this the last one? It might be. Do we get it? Heck yeah! The whirlwinds are gone! We got them! <laughs> Very handy that we have an anti-tornado ring just for this exact purpose. You did it! You sealed away the whirlwinds! Good work. Holy, that's a lot of gold. Yeah, we definitely have to go buy some things. Oh, we got more maximum health. Good. And I can move again, too. Here, I'll go with you. Uh-oh. Who's... Oh, it's Evelet. Oh, that hat does not look good, either. Eh, buddy, you're not looking so good, either. Um... Oh. Oh. That... That can't be good. Oh. That's a dragon. That's a whole heckin' dragon. Oh, great to see you, Bartholomew. Do you understand the crisis we're in here? The magic hat has been stolen by some villain called Evelet? This could be the end of the world! I know. That's why we've gathered the items we need to make the magic shield. Then let's get to work. Okay. But first things first. Piper. It's going to take a while to make the magic shield. But once it's finished, we won't be able to avoid a confrontation with Evelet. You've got some time, so use it to get ready for the coming battle. If you've got any unfinished business, I suggest you take care of it first. Okay, so we now have some time to, uh... To, to, to prepare before the reckoning. And there's a few things that I want to do with that. I would like to try and uncover a lot of the hidden things that we've missed in the world. I know Ambrose had something that could give us an extra heart. I think we'd do well to search the world for its secrets because... This battle, I get the sense it's not going to be anything to sneeze at. And we're not going to want to go into it unprepared. So uh, we're going to head back to uh, Tail Heights and probably all about the world to uh, see what we can do to give ourselves a bit of an edge. Oh boy, we need nine more special carrots, ten more special tomatoes, 
And ten more special potatoes. Oh boy. Alright. Uh, that's good to know. There's a lot of those. We also needed to catch the fish, too. Who are you? Charlotte? Hello, Piper. How are you doing? Hey, have you got a moment? You may very rarely come across some fruits that are jam-packed with nutrients. No, there's a second one! <laughs> We're talking extra tasty, extra special fruits. If they're prepared in a certain way, you can make a special dessert that will give you an extra heart. Oh, gosh. I'll make one for you if you like, Piper. Yeah, we probably oughta. <laughs> the ingredients are special watermelon, pineapple, and mango. Can you find ten of each and send them to me? They may be called special, but that doesn't mean they have a special smell. You have to search pretty hard for them, I think. Okay. I'll be waiting. So, there is something that can help us with that. I think she said... Do we have a... We have... Things to do. Well, prepare for the final battle. Unfortunately, we didn't have anything in our records, but we do have the Magic Encyclopedia, which tells us where things can be found. So this is fruits and vegetables. We need... Watermelon is one. That's at Lappy Lake. I've seen them elsewhere, too, though. I'm pretty sure there was one in Tail Heights. But I'm going to note these things down so that we know where to find them. Now, there is something that I think... Why is this one still blocked off? Wait, is there something here now? What is with this one peculiar place? I don't understand what's here. I don't smell anything. I don't see anything. I think this is just a straight up dead end. Well, rip. But there is something, I'm pretty sure we found a spot that's inaccessible. In fact, I think you can see it on the map. If we go... Oh, how do we even get there? That's the exit. Is it up here? I think it might be this first path here. There is still one accessible area, and I believe that we have the means to address it now. So if we... Oh! Oh, this is... Oh, this is not actually the one I was thinking of. Okay. Well, let's push it out of the way, because we still can. Ooh, that's handy. We're going to want to stock up on this for the final battle anyway. Uh, this is the canned... Or top quality canned meat, which I believe restores all hearts. But I swear there was another spot, too, that I noticed something we might be able to do. All right, sir. Time for a nap. I've missed. Never mind. Oh, here it is, I think. We can actually use our cool stone and freeze this river, which means we're able to cross it. And there's, well, there's a tater back here. First off, that's probably something worth going after. Hey, we got the tater, but it wasn't a special one, darn it. What is back here, though? Oh yeah, top quality canned meat again! That's worth going for. Can we throw rocks at the alligator? No. Oh, this is a pretty butterfly. I've come back to Monolith Isle because I think sometimes- Ooh, blue moon butterfly. I think sometimes you get- There's a gorilla here. I think sometimes you get different kinds of things. Like, you can find them in multiple environments, and so because this is tropical, I thought we might have some luck with the pineapple and the mango. You are a zoo animal, though. You, dog! Let's settle this with a fruit catch battle! Okay. So we have to catch the good fruit. And not the bad fruit, and that requires me to have coordination, which I don't have. It might be a little bit- nope, we're definitely gonna have to run for this. The problem is I don't have a very fine-tuned control with this- with this controller. No!
This game is rapidly becoming my villain origin story. I don't know how many times I've played it. I don't have fine motion control on this controller. Ah, uh, This might be the time. I know there's a round where he throws a bunch of chestnuts, which is this one, and then a bunch of melons. Do we win? We got it! Oh, thank God! Oh, I don't care about anything else. We're done. We're free. We're safe. What have I been doing? I remember Evelet casting a spell on me. Hope I didn't cause a mess. I'll just wander on back to the zoo. Oh my goodness, I don't know how many zoo animals we've saved. That might be the last one that we're able to because the penguin game is not going to work on this controller. I, I'm i not doing a completionist run, but I don't know. I'm also stubborn and don't like giving up and this actively works my detriment. Oh, this is a tier four rock, so this could have something good back there. Oh, there's a butterfly. I see. Ooh, it is a pretty one. No, I missed it, though. We'll get it again. Got him. What is this? A uke butterfly. Oh, that's cool. You, sir. How would you like a nap? Yeah, I'm just gonna... Bye. Got a problem. Not if you have a rock. So, all things considered, I just checked on our quest, and we are really not that far along on them, and I have spent more time than I probably should working on them here. So, I think that we may just settle for the eight hearts that we've got, and pray that I don't eat my words with this. Uh, we're gonna stock up on some more healing items, but... I think that we are just about ready to go and face down against Evelet. Okay, so I may have gone a little bit overboard on the healing, but we still have 10k. It's it's fine. <laughs> we'll be just fine, I think. But we've been running around in this little bandana pretty much since day one, so... As one last thing before we go to face Evelet, I think it's about time that we gave Piper a little bit of an upgrade. That's right, y'all. We've gone full cowgirl and we are ready to fight for some justice. So let's head our way back to Sky Heights. We'll go ahead and we'll warp to Tail Heights and we'll meet up with the wizards. All right, everyone, we are here. This is it! The time has come to face Evelet! Once you open this door, there's no going back! After we settle things with Evelet, peace will be restored to the world! And these travels of ours will come to an end! We've still got a little time, so if you have anything else to do, do it now! Or are you ready to go? I think we're ready! Let's go fight an evil wolf! Good timing. We've just completed the magic shield. I'm sure that monster evil will have sensed as much too. He must be filled with utter rage at our presumption. Indeed, he certainly won't like the idea of losing his new powers. He's going to bring the fight to us soon. Which is exactly what we want. But still very dangerous for everyone involved. Stay on guard. He's here! Uh-oh! Well, there's no turning back now. Oh boy! Into the portal we go! Ooh, I remember this arena. <laughs> it's a pretty dang cool boss fight. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that's a dragon. That's right, there's a dragon here now. And Evelet himself. Who's not looking so good. Oh. 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 That's not good. Oh. I don't think barking will work while it's up in the air. Oh, we can see. Okay. Oh. Oh, goodness. All right. Um, hang on. So we can pick up. Oh. Ah, gosh, he's just right on top of us. Oh my goodness. Uh, that's not great. Uh, well, as one does, uh, when you have a problem, throw a rock at it. Where is this hecker? We got him. <laughs> yes, you damaged the chaotic dragon. Keep on hitting him with rocks just like that. Is he completely down? Oh, I think we just got to use the time to get another rock. Other rock, other rock, please. Pick up a rock, please. Yeet. Get him! Oh, we're just, we just really have to pelt him with rocks repeatedly, is not is not is that what this is? Alright. Uh, please let me pick up the rock. Is he back up in the air? I think he is. Yeet! I missed! No! <laughs> grab rock, grab rock. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. Alright, oh, he's over here. Let's get him! We got him! Whew! I think he's down. I hope he stays down. Oh, he's... I think he's straight up dead. Oh, boy. Well, uh, ain't the size of the dog in the fight, I guess. We better hope, at least. Oh, boy. Finally, the time has come to face Evelet. He's up in the air, too, so regular barking isn't going to work on him, either. Alright, uh... Ooh, he's just walking. I think, too, that there might be some special effects that are not functional at the moment due to the way that I have to run the game. Oh, he's... he's running! Oh! Oh, he hit him in the face as he was jumping! You did it! Now you should be able to damage Evelet by barking! Okay, so if we run up to him, I think we can scare the pants off him like that. Wait until he's stunned, then bark! Can we hit him twice? Nope, it's not gonna work again. Okay, so this is grab more, more rock time. <gasps> Alright. Oh, where'd he go? He, he, he's coming from this direction and I hecked up my camera. No! Cease! Cease! Oh, he moved all the way over there! Oh no! Oh, that's not good! Ouch! Did we get- we did not get the rock. He completely destroyed the rock. Oh, ow, good gosh. All right, no, grab this. Go down. Oh, no, he moved. He teleports. Okay. Gotta keep an eye out for where he is. He's right here. He's hit- he, freaking stop it, you jerk. <laughs> stop moving. Let me hit you. Stand still for one gosh dang freaking minute. <laughs> get out. Oh, no. <laughs> I just healed, dang you. Oh my goodness. This stupid man. Ouch. All right. He's right here. He's moved again. This rude jerk of a man. I would like to try to keep my... Okay. Go down, you loser. <laughs> oh, come on. There we go. We got him. Oh my... This freaking jerk! <laughs> Every time I grab a rock, he charges me. And then I lose the rock. Alright. Throw a rock? We didn't, definitely didn't hit him. Alright, grab this quickly. I'm trying to get my freaking camera in order, too. Okay, he's gonna charge. We gotta move. Ouch! No! Okay, he is approaching. He's gonna try to do a slide. You know what? 
How about we just hit you in the frickin' face? Oh, he frickin' fell off the platform, what? Oh my goodness, what? Excuse me? <laughs> I think that did rob me of my chance to hit him, regrettably, but... Okay, he's running. We got him! Okay, so the trick is to do it when he's charging at you. I see now. So we gotta stop running away is what we gotta do. Oh, you can't throw a rock at him while he's down, unfortunately. Okay. Come get me, a menace. Oh, he actually did get me. <laughs> Whoa, goodness. Give me a freaking chance to move. Excuse you, sir. What the heck? What is your problem? <laughs> Got him. Come on, you jerk. Heck around and find out. Get wrecked! I think we got him! Whoo! Is he gonna stay down is my question. Oh! Oh, he's reverted, okay. I think we purified him, although he was kind of a jerk even prior to that. Oh! Is that the portal home? No, I don't think that's a portal home. Well, buddy, uh... I, I think you've met with the consequences of your actions. This place isn't gonna last much longer. We're getting out of here. Oh, here we go. Whew. We made it back. If the magic hat doesn't have its good side back, it might be used for evil again by another animal like Evelet. I'm going back inside the magic hat. Thank you for getting the magic hat back. I'll never forget you, Piper. So please, don't forget me. Goodbye. Whew, I think that fixed it. But farewell to beat. You have saved the entire world. Allow me to thank you on behalf of all life on this planet. Thank you, Piper. Take this. Now you need to get the magic hat home. Say hello to your mother and father for me. And here we are. We made it back. Oh, I remember loving that ending. <laughs> oh, well, the world saved. This adventure draws to a close. Although something tells me that may not be the last trouble Piper finds in her lifetime. You fought to correct the mistake you made and to save the world itself. You restored peace. I'm very proud of you. This magic hat has massive power. Such power can cause havoc in the wrong paws. I think Evelet has already taught you that. That is why great power must only be used for good. Used to make the world a better place. 
and used for the sake of happiness for all. Isn't that right? Very well. In which case, this magic hat now belongs to you. Hey! <laughs> now you must be the one to use its power to protect this island. I know you can do it. After all, just look who your parents are. And so the story concludes. I man, <laughs> I this game, I did not realize what a big part of my childhood had been. I only I think I only ended up playing it like once, but it, it's honestly a pretty good game. It's a little cheesy at times, but there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I do remember some of the mini games giving me a rough time. <laughs> But it's been great to revisit it. I've kind of wanted to do it for a while now. And it honestly, for what it is, it holds up pretty well. It, it's certainly not a poorly done game. And uh, it's got quite a bit of charm to it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this playthrough of Pets Dogs 2. I think there actually is a New Game Plus version of it from what I've heard, which is not something that I knew when I was younger, so if you have any interest in that, definitely let me know. It might be something we check out again in the future. And there is also a Cats version of it, which I think is pretty similar story-wise, but uh, I think it has a couple of differences, so if you wanted to run them side by side, that might be something that uh, we do on the Plus channel at some point. Just let me know if you want to see more of this game. And it was a little bit of an odd series compared to what it usually is, but I hope you guys have enjoyed it nonetheless. I've certainly enjoyed getting to revisit this game. Goodness, I, I have many memories of playing this <laughs> and having a very good time with it. Uh, but with that, I think we're going to go ahead and uh, leave off this series here. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay. Over and out.